Hey there everyone, I'm going to do a little beer review here and uh, this one, I only bought this really just because the bottle didn't have a label on it had a little weird tag and I thought it was unusual I like the way it kind of, it's kind of handwritten number 17 Biscay Saison I don't know how you say that word really, Saison, Saison Shipping Forecast Ales from Colour Coats Brewery so yeah, I, I was pretty much just just drawn to it from the label. It looked kind of cool and homemade, and I thought, oh, maybe it's, you know, a bit less mass produced than usual or something. I don't know. It says full flavored real ale for tasty notes. See the website, so it doesn't really tell you much about it. Bottle conditioned for a natural sparkle, um, brewed and bottled by hand at Colour Coats Brewery, Walls End, Tynan Weir. Malted barley, oats, wheat, hops, water, yeast. So there you go, it's not much information and it's just a nice little simple thing. There's nothing on the bottle whatsoever. The cap is just plain, so yeah, it looked kind of interesting. So I, I don't know why I've got the camera like so close to me. I didn't like having it like all the way or halfway across the kitchen, so I'm trying a different camera angle for this review. Well, I thought it'd be more fizz than that. Hmm, I hope this hasn't gone. I don't know, just didn't seem like there was much sparkle there when I opened it. Smells, smells okay. It smells sour, but it smells like a sour, so... I think I've, I've been drinking a lot of sours recently, so I think nowadays I'm a, wouldn't even be able to tell if a beer was off anyway. But yeah, here we go. Oh, it looks... Looks nice and carbonated. I, I don't know why it didn't fizz when I opened it, why it didn't hiss. But, hmm. Looks like it got a little bit of, I don't know if I got a bit of sediment there. Maybe not. It looks nice and clear actually. Quite a bit cloudy, but. Hmm. No, it looks it looked more cloudy on the camera as I'm looking at it than actual in real life, but. Yeah. Smells all right, getting a lot of, getting a bit of like a sort of zesty smell off there, like um, you know, like orange peel type of smell. Or maybe a more like a lime, a limey type of smell. Mm. Smells good. Right, let's have a try. I got this from, um, I can't remember what the shop's called, but in, in Newcastle train station, there's a little brewery not a brewery like a little beer shop like tucked away like right at the end you could you would miss it if you didn't know it was there but they've got loads of beers in there so if you're ever going through newcastle and you stop at the train station go and seek out this little beer shop because it's right in this it's right in the station at the end of one of the platforms so let's give it a go hmm That is really, it's really malty. Um, yeah, it's so it it's so like you wouldn't I wouldn't I wasn't expecting it to taste this way. I don't know a lot about the saison beer, saison whatever you call it. I don't know about much about this beer style, but it just looked a lot more like it'd be more crisp and uh, hoppy. It, it's so malted tasting. It's like um, it's like drinking a, a barrel of biscuits or something, you know. Um, I mean, it is hopped well as well. Like it, the hops give it this nice sort of orangey taste as well, nice citrusy flavour. But um, yeah, the malts are really really quite heavy in there and, and nice tasting like it's, it's somehow it's like crisp and malty at the same time which is unusual i'm used to having like a a nice malty drink where it's like a i don't know like a stout or something like that but this is like sort of crisp light almost like a lager type of consistency and then like the fruity hops a bit like an ipa but then malty at the same time it's unusual yeah, I, I, like I say, I don't know much about this style of beer. I was actually just having a look on Wikipedia and it said that they usually have like spices and things in there. 
but um, it didn't seem to have anything that, like that in the ingredients, so I don't I don't know much about this style of beer basically, but it's nice. Yeah, the oh the fruitiness is 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 lovely as well. It's really refreshing drink this. Um, hmm. It reminds me almost, I've had like an orange, I remember from like Marks and Spencer's or somewhere I had like this orange and coriander beer. It reminds me of that a little bit. It's got like, a, it's, it's got like a bitterness, it's almost like an orange peel taste and then like a fresh like zesty sharp taste which is like the citrusy hops sort of flavour. It's nice, it's very nice. So I usually go for the more like crazy sounding flavors, like you know, some weird fruity taste or you know the just something with a weird name. So now I'm now I'm reviewing a quite a, a normal sort of beer. I'm kind of finding it hard to uh, to review it. <laughs> I'm used to just going, well, I can taste the uh, the mashed potato in there, and you know, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Yeah, there's a nice sort of sweetness coming through now as well, the more I'm drinking it. It's almost like, um, mm, I just got like a little snippet of a flavour there that I couldn't really put my finger on it. It was like sweet, it was almost like, um, it was almost like a custard cream or something like that, custard cream biscuit. Very almost. If it wasn't, if there wasn't the bitterness there, it might taste like a custard cream biscuit. <laughs> if you eat, if you had a custard cream biscuit with a bit of orange peel stuck to the top of it, maybe that's the kind of experience you'd have. Mm, yeah, the, the malts are so like, it's so like biscuity. Yeah, it is. It's like a custard cream or something. It's, it's really like, I don't know, it's like it's got all these different things going on. It's got like the sharpness of an IPA and then the, the maltiness of like, I don't know, what kind of beer is really malty? Like a milk stout or something like that. You know, like sort of creamy lactosey taste almost. And uh, none of that seems to be in the ingredients. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. So yeah, the bottom the bottom of the bottle is a lot more cloudy. I might have had to pour it to leave some of the sediment behind, but I quite like the sediment. I'm like I can see in the bottom of the bottle there is like actual proper a proper amount of sediment at the bottom. You probably can't see. Can you see? No, probably not. Yeah, you can see the you can see it sloshing around in there. Kind of. So it is properly proper bottle conditioned. Yeah, lovely that. Lovely beer. Yeah. So I right, hear the uh, shipping forecast ales. Biscay Saison. It looks from the looks of the label. It looks like they make a lot of different beers like this. Now they must be all numbered, but I've only ever seen this one. There wasn't any others in the shop, I didn't think. I didn't notice any. So I was just intrigued by the label, but I guess it worked. It got me to buy the beer and uh, it's actually turned out to be a good beer. You know, um, at least it's not one of them beers where you get like a crazy can and it looks all wacky and stuff and then you taste it and it's really disappointing. It's actually like the opposite. It's like a plain bottle and it actually tastes really nice. So yeah, don't don't judge a beer by its packaging, I guess is the moral there. Uh... Mm, very good, very good. A nice summery drink.
It'd be a nice one to do a session on as well, that. You know, no, no flavours are so strong that you'd get sick of it. You could have a good few of them. You know, you could buy a six pack of that and enjoy that of an evening. The strength isn't too bad, 4.2%. So it's kind of a not too strong, not too weak, kind of nice. All right, well, let's finish this off. Oh, it's, it's slightly gassy. If I had to find any problem with it, maybe it's a bit too gassy for me. <laughs> but I'm really scraping the barrel as I mean to say bad about it. I'd like to find at least one fault with a beer. Yeah, it tastes it tastes much richer than it looks, you know what I mean? <coughs> Maybe that's like the sediment in there, it gives it an, like quite a rich sort of it's almost like it's got quite a, a rich mouthfeel even though it's light, light and carbonated and bubbly. It's kind of strange, I don't know. Mm, nice one. All right. Here's a review, I'm going to finish this up. You know what, I just ate a big bowl of cereal before reviewing this. I'm struggling to get it down. Alright, I'm going to I'm gonna end the review here and maybe finish this off. Second second review in a row where I haven't finished the, the bottle on camera, but I've, I drank nearly all of it, but... Uh, I don't want to make myself ill chugging it down when I've just had a big bowl of cereal. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right. Um, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Shipping Forecast Ales Biscay Saison from Colour Coats Brewery. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below if you liked what you see and um, subscribe if you're not already as you can see these are high quality reviews and uh, there'll be many more in the future all right bye